So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yep, we just gotta break in, find the key, if there's a key, hopefully there's a key, and leave. up there she's alive you you're alive man i've never been so happy to see you in my life clarissa what alex christ what's wrong with her clarissa can you can you hear me alex do you know what's happening is she is she gonna be okay clarissa wake up fight them off take control of yourself um hang in there baby alex uh please can you just <laughs> think you can control me? Clarissa, are you... Are you not possessed right now? Possessed. I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Consumed with... What are you mad at? We're, we've all been... I'm not mad, dear. I'm tired. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Clarissa, was that... Was any part of you in there just now? In where? What are you talking about? You were like... I mean, were you like sleepwalking or can you remember? How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been like time disturbances or something and I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So, and we just had one. Time disturbances? So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet. So, can I slap yeah. Clarissa? And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stuff. <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her because of her. It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She is. Seriously, enough. I thought you would. Jesus Christ, can't you be with me on this? I am with you, Clarissa, but. Ugh. 
but we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you? All the outs in free. Hey, whoa, man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember like anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I, huh, I sort of can picture Clarissa being like weird or something, but I don't know, it's kind of a blur to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there, so let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Uh, okay. Hey, has that know happened kind of before? Jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, their wall radios, wave-assisted lock, November. whatever that means. Tango. Oh, duh. India. It says right Trek. here that each frequency Uniform. is like a key Echo. to open the doors Eventually. around here. So they're like ID tags or something. Uh, okay, Everything cool. Great. Alpha. Ooh, wait. November. Wait, here's like a... Tango. Wait. India. What is this? Trek. Personal Uniform. effects of Margaret Echo. Dorothy Adler. Eventually. Why would her stuff be Everything here? Didn't her family, alpha, or like, hasn't November. her family been carting Tango. her things back to town? India. No, we can start back. back. I just wanna... Uniform. Okay, Echo. here. <laughs> Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control, and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within. Oh God, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or got the village wives pregnant. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, totally. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Oh my god, the, the Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time.
Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is, I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack no, shop. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? All right, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island, Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> oh, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So, uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like, am I past the name Clarissa, or? I guess I don't understand. No, I mean, like, like there's a past and a- And a future, okay, a, a future Clarissa. Um, you're right, it <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me, is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet and- Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. 
They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. This game is great. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh, I, I don't know, what was I doing? Well, let's see, first you stopped walking, then you started spinning, slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought honestly I was watching your brain melt. Not fun. I haven't been talking about stupid sandwiches. Haven't you realized that I was gone for however long? I went through... It, it was one of those time loop things. Time loop thing? Really? You didn't leave. We've been here the whole time. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Both of us. Well, you more physically than mentally, I guess. But other than that, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't remember. Being here at all. I, I haven't been here. I, I don't know how else to say it. All right, well, can you just, like, maybe tell me what happened? What'd you see? What was it like? What happened, basically? It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random... ...Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. Uh, are you doing okay? Something like that. I don't know if I'd like it. No, it was... it was good to see him. I'm treating it like a... a temporary gift. That's all. Okay. at the tower. This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. 
I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to, uh, do the whole thing. Yeah, Clarissa's gone, though. Gone? Gone like dead? Or... No, I guess there was a... What'd you guys call it? Like a time loop thing? She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Where are you going? I thought we... Aren't we sticking to the... The find the boat and paddle away game plan? I want to find Clarissa before we even do this. It seems pointless without the whole bundle. Find her where? We have no idea where she is. Or I don't, at least. I mean, if she wants to go, that's all right. We'll stay here. I... Guess. So... Anyways, Chris is not here, which means we can't leave yet. So I don't really know.
Oh, Maggie says she hopes the notes are found by the correct person. Well, I guess that'll have to be us. Guess we're not going in there again. Whatever happened must have caved in the opening. If they could eliminate these loading screens, it'd be a perfect game.
Edward for your glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for death and holder is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. You will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. She was working at the tower the morning they sank. I love a good forest sound design. When somebody gets a forest right, it's just phenomenal. Then you got like some droning music coming in the background. Wonderful. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park.
us, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body... Come on, man, no dude left behind. Let's go. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? sure I already did this one but I cannot remember. Gotta get them all.
Let's go, slow poke. Oh, Maggie thought that the way the ghosts can talk to us and vice versa is waves.
also registered images on objects, places, and persons on magnetic tape, taking into consideration the impossibility of... They, um, Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave.
It says that the, the base first found the ghost's messages here. it is maintained is enveloped in a radiance invisible to the carnal eye and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it i making an example of you she well, maggie brought her friend anna here to help i guess Communication school here taught them how to make codes. <laughs> 